It's getting closer, going faster than the roller coaster. Love what is going on, YouTube? No, seriously, what is going on? Now, I hope my wonderful 37 subscribers are safe and well fed. And the rest of you, well, you know. Just kidding, of course I hope you're all okay. See, with the coronavirus, we seem to be having a bit more time on our hands. And for that reason, I decided to sing my own intro. I'm avoiding the old copyright issue, and I'm bored. Ah, eggs collected. Let's crack on. <laughs> Sorry. Now, I wanted a fire pit in my back garden. Uh, for no particular reason. I decided to consult YouTube to see what was out there. Just to kind of demonstrate a point of how... Super easy to start the fire. Pretty crazy, huh? Anyway, this is a really good way to have a fire in your backyard. Much like a... Uh, it's much like a... Uh, Oh, what do they call that? A Dakota fire pit mother flipper. And those four videos are linked in the details below. Now the basic concept of a Dakota fire pit are that they're discreet, they don't produce much smoke, and they're easy to maintain. Or at least, this one will be as it's a modified version of the traditional pit design. Now step one is pretty obvious. You need to dig a hole. So the hole on the left here is the main body of the fire. You're going to be putting your kindling, twigs, logs, anything else you want into there. That's where the burning happens. Now the secondary hole plays an important part in the Dakota fire pit. This is going to tunnel through to hole number one and it's going to provide oxygen so that the fire can be maintained. Now obviously the fire pit itself is beneath the surface so it's going to need some form of oxygen in order to keep it alight. And as you can see from a ground point of view, or even if you're 10 to 20 meters away, you wouldn't be able to see that there's a fire pit there. Now, it's quite a difficult dig, because as you can see, it's quite rich with clay. Um, this might lead on to another video, because I, I do quite fancy trying to filter out the dirt from the clay and see if we can make something from all of this, uh, so not to waste any of the materials we've pulled out. Now this is why my interpretation of this is a little bit different. As I want to make mine a bit more of a permanent feature, I want to be able to maintain it. I don't want it to be building up, I don't want to have to keep cleaning it out. So I'm going to take this aluminium, or um, aluminium if you're in the States, uh, bucket, and I'm going to try and construct something so that the fire will be sitting in this and I'll be able to remove it in order to keep it clean. And what you'll need to do is put a hole in the bottom part of the bucket so that oxygen can flow into it, um, maintaining the fire. I've also put some holes in the actual base of the bucket, so if it rains, water can run straight out of it and I don't need to empty it out. And I've also put a hole on the side, because this is a second part of my design, which is a little bit different. And the idea for this second part is to have a pipe flowing into the bucket. For the days when it's not as windy and I'm struggling to get oxygen into the fire, I'll be able to pump some air into it. Now the easiest way to do that was to hammer a branch into the main body of the pit at a diagonal angle. And then it's just the trouble of removing it. It's a miracle. Ordained by heaven. This boy is our king. Okay, that's enough of that. So, I suggest using the material that you've pulled out of the hole um, to try and build up the sides, give it a bit more stability. And if you're looking, you have clay, it should look something like this. Just make sure you pound it good and hard, sort of get it compact so it's going to hold in place. Hey, what's wrong, Sonny? Nothing's wrong, I'm building a fire pit. Is that so? Yep, you got a problem? If I was you... Sure, I'd fucking stop banging on my door. And that's why the gopher isn't in the books. Okay, lastly, just line up your pipe with the buckets and you're ready to fill it with wood and get going. And there we have it, completed uh, Dakota fire pit. It's all very satisfying. There's something very um, therapeutic about looking at a fire. It, it's, I don't know, it captivates me. 
there's an almost reassuring feeling about it. I don't know. I blocked the secondary hole for a little while just so you could see what this additional pipe for oxygen can do. Just to bring the fire back to life. <gasps> Poor Megan burnt on the fence. <laughs> No, but as you can see, this addition is definitely going to be useful for the fire pit. And we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Um, like and subscribe. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.